good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry. Okay. I did not use my Chinese to talk to you because I want you to fully understand our moon festival, not only uh, to taste our moon cakes. <laughs> okay, today my topic is Mid Autumn Day. As you can see, that there is a beautiful lady, right? I will introduce her later. Um, according to our lunar calendar, August the 15th will be the mid autumn day. Uh, because in our lunar calendar, uh, which is very useful for Chinese farmers for their planting, uh, for their harvesting, something like that, according to this lunar calendar, um, July, August, and September should be our autumn uh, months. And in the three months, August lies in the middle. And in between, uh, in this month, uh, the 15th is just the most middle day. So that is why we call this day as mid-autumn day. And um, on this day, it is um, autumn, uh, autumn time, so the, the air is usually very clear and cool. So it can be a very, um, what, uh, uh, proper time, the most ideal time for enjoying the moon. So uh, on this day, uh, besides enjoying the moon, we Chinese people also have the tradition of eating some moon cakes, which is just uh, which are the representation of the moon. Uh, as you can see there, the moon cake is always round. Because in China, round, the shape of round represents uh, reunion and harmony, and this is also a very important physical idea. Sorry, philosophical idea uh, in Chinese uh, tradition, because we always think if all family members are together, this family can enjoy their happiness and reunion together. Um, so this moon festival is also called the festival of reunion or reunion day. The moon cake, um, we say uh, in Chinese, it is called. Huan Yuan. Uh, Huan means everybody sitting together, uh, like a round, uh, round table, and Yuan means round and harmony. Okay, uh, I think uh, most of you, if you have learned Chinese for a while, you may have noticed um, the most important thing for Chinese common people is food, eating. Uh, so we have very uh, rich food tradition. It is no exception on this moon festival. So on this day, usually we will set out fruits, nuts, uh, and other snacks, and especially moon cakes for the whole family to enjoy together. Uh, now uh, I, I have seen there, they have displayed some kinds of moon cakes. But actually in China, in different provinces or even in different cities, we have quite different processes of making moon cakes. <coughs> yeah, you have seen a lot. Um, the fillings, the stuffings of moon cakes can be various. And we use different things to put in the moon cakes. Uh, for example, uh, in the north of China, we usually use uh, vegetables, fruits, flowers. And in the south of China, uh, in those very creative provinces and cities, they even use meat eggs, fish, or even crab in the moon cake. And also we put on different patterns and designs at the surface of the moon cake so that they will look most beautiful and at the same time tasty. Um, autumn is also a season for people to get their harvest. After a year's hard working, the farmers now can harvest what they have in the field. So this moon festival uh, was originally a kind of uh, harvest occasion for our farmers. So on this day, the whole family can enjoy their reunion together, but at the same time, they can share what they have harvested for this year together with the family members. And now, uh, for those people who are far away from their home, which is uh, very characteristic of the modern world, um, on this occasion, these people, like us, the Chinese teachers here in Armenia, 
uh, um, in the evening, they will just uh, look up in the sky and while enjoying the moon, they will try to miss their family. Yesterday evening, yesterday it was our moon festival, um, the standard one. But today, if we are celebrating the reunion together, this can be our Armenian Chinese moon festival, I think. Uh, yesterday, I just went to Cascade. Uh, I went to the uh, top uh, stair, and there I just enjoyed the moon and cried there for three hours, maybe, to miss my family. Okay. Also related um, are there many legends and folklores about Chinese uh, Mid-Autumn Day. Uh, the most famous one, I think, or the most popular one will be Chang'e Denyue. Chang'e is just that beautiful lady that you have always seen. Okay, uh, and uh, Denyue, Den means running toward, Yue, moon. Okay, uh, this Chang'e was a famous warrior's wife. It's just a legend, don't believe it, please. <laughs> okay, uh, the famous wa warrior, his name was Hou Yi. Um, he was very strong and clever, and uh, he was the most famous hunter in Chinese history. Uh, it was said, there were once the heaven, maybe God, was angry with his, uh, his people, so he created nine suns in the sky. So the nine suns were always burning the earth. Um, the farmers could, couldn't get any harvest for years. And it was this whole Yi, this brave warrior, who just uh, shot down, shot down the eight useless but uh, terrible suns, so that now we can just have one sun to protect the farmers to get their good harvest and give us also, human people, the sunlight is below. And this, after Hou Yi succeeded in his um, deed, Xi Wang Wu, the West King uh, Huan, gave him a kind of medicine which will make him, which would make him immortal. He would never die. But his wife Chang Le, out of curiosity, tasted the medicine of immortality. And right after that, she began to fly to the moon. And then after that, she lived there until now. And maybe if that's a good place, um, before the Americans reach the moon, they will also live there. I said today because uh, when she was flying to the moon, she also carried together with her, her favorite rabbit. And the rabbit is always there doing some uh, punching work to do some Chinese traditional medicines. So that if someday we can fly to the moon, if we get ill, we will get cured with Chinese traditional medicine. So on this uh, full moon day, if you look up into the sky and if you are uh, careful and observative enough, you will see the beautiful lady together with her rabbit and also that pot for Chinese traditional medicine.